who you loving, who you want to be hugging, zipping on your Ninja Honda with Tanisha and Rhonda. What? I can style you. I can style you. I can style you better than she can. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Tasha. Come with you guys with a collective haul. We have some pieces from H&M, Zara. I got a failed piece from Walmart, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to finesse it. Okay, and then also we got a pair of shoes from Steve Matten. Now, let me just let y'all know something because y'all been like, Sasha, where you at? We haven't seen you up and posting. Da, 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 da. I've been at work getting worked, okay? <laughs> I've been at work getting worked, okay? They be getting their coins out your girl, okay? For those of y'all that are new, I'm not a full time YouTuber. I'm a full time employee, okay? <laughs> And work has been working me. Okay, last week I was booked and busy. I was training people. <sighs> Lord, I, I didn't even know if I was coming to warn. And then school ended last week for Brianna. The end of the school year is always busy for me. For some reason, I don't know why, but it just be like that. <laughs> so I had to get her ready to go down my mom's and my sister's house. That's normally what she do during the summertime. So I had to get her ready. I had to braid her hair last minute, child. So I just been booked and busy. Okay. <laughs> I just been booked and busy. So this is going to be our last haul for the summer. Because I know I don't even like summer. For real, for real. But I needed some summer pieces for my wardrobe. That doesn't mean that we're not going to have fashion content. We are going to do lookbooks and things like that. But this is my last haul. Okay. Until the fall pieces start coming. Okay. Did y'all know I'm a fall fashion girly. If you're new, hey boo, my name is Tasha. I focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Mainly fashion, plus size fashion, apple shape fashion for my apple shape girls. And so all my OGs, thank you for holding your girl sound. Thank you to all my new subbies for seven. We almost at 10K. We almost at 10K, baby. I think when I checked this morning, I was at 9,911 people. We almost at 10K. Okay. I've been putting that work in, okay? So, let's go right get into this haul. Let me show you guys the shoes that I got from Steve Matten, and let's style up these pieces. Y'all ready? <laughs> Y'all ready? Okay, so, like I said, I got a pair of shoes from Steve Matten. I haven't shopped Steve Matten in a while. These shoes, if y'all follow my community tab, I already shared these with you guys. These shoes were a little expensive. It was $100, but I got them on sale for, like, 83 84 I had like a 15% off coupon, something like that. But it didn't really matter what the price was going to be because I was going to get these shoes. <laughs> when it comes to certain things, baby, the price don't even matter. If I wanted that bad, <laughs> I'm going to get them. Right? I had to have them. Y'all know I'm an animal print girl. Okay? Y'all know I love a good kitten heel. I know I love a good sling back mule situation. Z baby, these zebra print shoes, they was going to come on with me. They was coming home with me. Okay, so these are zebra print kitten heel, and then they have the pony hair. Let me let y'all see them up close. When I saw these, I had to have them. I got them in my shoe size, which is a 10. It does have the elastic part on the side. It does have the cushion. These are super comfortable. Now, these are a baby kitten. Okay, these these are the, the newborn kittens that can't see. <laughs> Fresh out the womb, looking for their mama, trying to get some milk. Okay. These are baby kitten heels. Because I normally do like the two and a half, three and some change kitten heels, okay? When you kind of like a little bit off the ground. These feel like you're really walking on a flat, okay? So I would not, if you're new to the kitten heel game, okay? These, since they're so low, these are the type of kitten heels where you put your slides on or a flat sandal on when you're walking outside like you go into your car and then you drive to your office once you get to your office you put these on okay these are not the heels that you really wear a lot on the ground because they're going to wear down a little faster if you wear them a lot put it like that they're going to wear down faster because they're so short okay i had a pair of short heels like this from zara and i learned the hard way so if you want to be able to like really walk around walk around with your kitten heels on outside then you need one that's like a little bit higher these ones are the ones like you put these on when you pull up to the job you put these on when you pull up to <laughs> whatever the event is you gonna wear these to these are not the ones that be walking all around the town on the concrete wearing them out because they're gonna wear down fast and they don't send you the extra 
um whatever this thing is called they don't send you the extra one of these so you will have to get them fixed if you wear them down <laughs> to the ground so just be mindful and that's what just not with these just the length of this heel for any shoe that's this short they're not the ones that you just walking around showing your stuff on concrete put them on when you get to wherever you want to okay <laughs> but i plan on really getting my use out of these for the fall i am going to style these up in this video i do plan on wearing them during the summertime but when i saw these my mind instantly went to fall fashion okay <laughs> but these are fire okay these are fire you can't tell me nothing different okay let's get ready to get into the looks y'all ready i can style you i can style you I can style you better than she can. Let's get into it. Okay, let me let y'all get into it. Let me go ahead and give y'all some spins first. Y'all need one more spin. Let me give y'all one more spin. Now, this is a cute, sexy dress. I love the fact that the dress is neutral. I love the shape of this dress. It's a baby doll dress, but it has like an A-line cut. It does come with this macrame belt that has seashells at the end. So that gives some definition in the waist. If you guys are new here, I am apple shape. Okay, so apple shape women, we don't have a defined waist. So we need things that are already defined and give us a shape. This dress is definitely giving me a little shape. It's also a little slimmy. I love the neckline as well. This is what the sleeves look like. It has like that balloon cap sleeve, okay? But for me, because I'm short, I always like to roll my sleeves up. It doesn't really matter what I have. I just feel like it helps give me some length in my body. But this dress is sexy. This is definitely a dress that you could do rooftop. You could do early dinner. You could do happy. I just definitely giving grown and sexy, but it's fun and flirty. I also paired it with my Mary Jane's, this old from Zara. And I feel like that helps elongate my legs and give like an extra sex appeal to the dress. But I love this dress, okay? Love this dress. Also, I picked up these earrings from H&M as well. Okay. So what y'all think about the dress? I love this dress. I could definitely see me. Y'all know I'm not dating right now, but if I was, like, I could see me wearing this on a day date, okay? Definitely a day date. Definitely rooftop happy hour vibes. Y'all need one more time? Now, because I'm short and because I don't have <laughs> a butt, like, I don't have, you know, the body, okay? I could slide this into the office. It's fingertip, okay? For somebody else, you probably won't be able to slide this into the office. If, I feel like if you're short and you don't have a whole lot of curves, you can slide this to the office. Somebody got a whole lot of yada 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 yada. <laughs> you never be able to slide this into the office. But they do have this dress in like different prints. I got this dress in the extra large if I didn't mention it. They have it in the blue and white. The blue and white has matching pants. So the way they styled it was they undid the belt. They removed the belt completely rather and just had like this as a shirt with the pants. But they don't have the matching pants for this. It's just strictly a dress. But even when you undo the belt, it doesn't add any more length to it, to be honest. So that's what it looks like undone. It still even has a shape without the belt being tied. But yeah so what y'all think about the dress this is so cute well like i said it it just depends on what, what your body is giving you can slide this to the office but i really more so see me wearing this like out okay and the only reason why i said i could slide this to the office is because on mondays <laughs> mondays there's nobody there but my supervisor adrian if y'all familiar with my vlogs adrian and like the, the new hires for training that's it <laughs> and Mondays we drive via ghost town and my supervisor don't be paying attention to a thing, child. So but if I was there on like 
Wednesdays when it's a heavy day or Thursdays and it's like women there, supervisors, I won't even try my hand because they be like, <laughs> y'all already know. We sure don't need them. We try to get me sent home, child. <laughs> but I feel like you can make a slide. Let's move on to the next piece. Y'all need one more spin in this before we go. And I love the fact how it moves when you spin. Like, I feel like <laughs> I should be in car about somewhere. All right, let's move on to the next book. Okay, yeah. So this is look number two. This is another dress that I picked up from H&M. This is a denim dress. It has ruffle on the sleeve, ruffle on the neckline. And then it's like a little teared ruffle situation. Another baby doll dress. This is another dress that I could take into the office. But I also wanted to show you guys how you could style this outside of taken into the office so i decided to pair this with my denim cowboy boots i am one of those girls that will wear boots in the summertime okay it's an art to it, it, it it's definitely not wearing boots in 90 degree weather okay but like if you get a, a good 70 isk okay mid to high 70s maybe low 80s like a little breeze you can pull a boot okay but if it's hot 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 Baby, you're going to have a stroke. Okay, you're going to stroke out <laughs> in a boot. But you can still wear boots in the summertime. So I just decided to do a denim on denim look. Paired it with some shades. Added this red clutch. How do you guys feel about this look? This dress can also pair well with some dad sandals. It could pair well with some sneakers. It could pair well with the Mary Jane's that we just had on. Of course, with the denim boots. Also, I tried these on with my Mary Jane, like, combat boot. Like, that was a vibe. But I think I would probably do that more in the fall since it's so edgy. Um, what else can you do with these? You can do a lot. You can do a flat sandal with these. So, this dress is very versatile, especially for the spring, summer months. Because you can pretty much do any shoe. I think this will look really good with some sambas. Okay. So, let me y'all one more spin. Y'all ready for the next look? Let's get to the next look. Okay, let me go ahead and give y'all some spins. Because we're playing with print and we're playing with texture. Okay. This is the fly girl in the office vibes. Okay. Y'all need one more spin? Let me get y'all one more spin. Okay. So, disclaimer for the girls that be asking about the work with. <laughs> I keep telling y'all. <laughs> your coworkers are not going to like you messing with me. Okay? <laughs> They're not going to like you. Okay. So, picked up this blazer. Now, Zara is calling this a blazer. And it does have the silhouette of a blazer okay and this isn't a geo print it does come with a matching pant this is very lightweight i thought about getting the pant but i'm also trying to be more grounded with my shopping i love a good stitch i know that but i'm like realistically if i'm going to wear this is the set i would probably wear the blazer more than anything else so i opted not to get the pants which just to let you guys know it does have a matching pant that is a pull-on pant with an elastic waist and i think the pants go up to the extra large if i'm not mistaken this blazer is in a extra large and it is a little oversized like slightly oversized so you guys can see that i can button it but this is a blazer silhouette but it has like a shirt vibe okay so it's not a blazer blazer it's not structured at all it just has the silhouette of a blazer it does have two pockets that you can open but it feels more like a shirt okay because i don't want y'all to go in thinking y'all about to get <laughs> a blazer blazer it's not it's a i will call it a blazer shirt okay <laughs> but i actually like this because you guys know that i love button-ups but sometimes i like to wear my button-ups open like this so this for me works okay because i like to wear button-ups in the summertime kind of like in place of a blazer or like a kimono so this works for me but because it's so lightweight this is a good piece to have in your wardrobe i can wear this to work and i can also wear this casually i can do a lot with this like i can even do street style with this so but well, i'm gonna keep it focused on <laughs> the girls that want to go to work okay so y'all know like i said earlier we're gonna roll this up because I need to have the length of my body. 
And then it was time for me to refresh some of my basics. So I got a new white shirt from H&M. It's like a red shirt. So I got a white one and then a black and white one that you guys will see in a few moments. And then I also picked up these dress pants. Y'all know that I live in a dress pant. I love a pleated wide leg tapered waist dress pants. Y'all know that about me. Okay. So I picked it up in like this sage green color. It is a linen and rayon blend. For reference, I am 5'3", so I would say 5'5", five, five will probably be the max, 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, as far as like getting this length to hit on you. I did go ahead and add the zebra print kitten heels because you guys know that I love mixing print, I love mixing texture, and you really can't see them like that, but it's also a neutral, okay? Zebra print, leopard print, cheetah print, all those prints are neutral so i wanted to have like a little pizzazz but this is a monochromatic look that we're doing okay so this is a cute look to take into the office for spring summer co-workers still not gonna like you look at it because it's still giving <laughs> fashion girl days okay so let me go ahead and get y'all some spins y'all need one more spin let me get y'all one more spin now, I do wish that even though this is more like a shirt, really, but it has, like I said, the silhouette, I wish that they still would have put the slit in the back to really make it look kind of blazer-esque. And then let me show you guys how high-waisted these pants are because they come up super high. This is also another look, too. Like, if you are in a business casual environment, then you could wear it straight like this. You don't even need the third piece. I just like a third piece, but these pants come up really high in the back. And I am wearing them in a size 18, okay? So, like I told y'all before, for those of you who are new, pleating for apple-shaped girls, it just hits for us. It takes away the illusion of having a rounder midsection. And again, I need my pockets to be diagonal okay when i'm doing a high waisted pleated pant but y'all know i live in a trouser and the reason why i like trousers so much is because if you're a person that like sweatpants and joggers which you know you can't wear those to work <laughs> trousers is your next best thing like that's why i like them so much because they're comfortable a trouser is like my work sweatpants my work jogger so i live in a jogger but i love these i love the color and I'm just building my trouser collection until I get all the colors that I want in my wardrobe. But you can wear it just like this as well. Still have the pop with the shoe. So, what do you guys think about Okay, hey, y'all. So, here is the next outfit. This is actually a fail. I'm going to tell y'all how I finesse this. Okay? Let me go ahead and get y'all some spins. Y'all need one more spin? Let me get y'all one more spin. So, for those of you that are new, I love a good satin slip skirt. I love a satin slip dress, right? Now, I wanted to dibble and dabble in the Walmart things because I know I normally stick to the stores that I know my sizing, things like that. So, I went on Walmart and I was going to go crazy, but I said, no, let me just... Let me just test drive a little something, something. So I saw this satin slip dress. That's what it says. It's a satin slip dress. And this pretty ombre color it goes from like an orange peach into like different shades of pink. Okay. And then I love the bias cut. And I love the little slit on the side. So I had all intentions on getting this satin slip dress, wearing it to work with like a t-shirt underneath of it with my sneakers. Got this in the 16, 18 and it's too tight going across like it's too tight. i can pull it up but the dress is just too tight going across my chest so i opted to turn it into a satin slip skirt <laughs> i want to put up the picture of the dress how it is on walmart so y'all know that i ain't bsing you okay and it just happened to work out like <laughs> it's sitting on my waist it's not gonna roll down i tucked as y'all can see okay <laughs> I have rolled this part down, okay? So, that's what we want to do. But I'm like, and the dress was on sale for like $16. I'm like, I'm not 
I'm not going out of my way to Walmart for $16. Like, Walmart is not close to my house. Now, if it was Target, I would probably take it back because Target's already down the street. Well, Walmart is just out the way for me, so. And I'm not pressed about sending it back. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to finesse it <laughs> into a skirt. And y'all know that I'm losing weight. So, as I lose weight, if I can end up fitting in this dress, then so be it. But we're going to finesse it. As a skirt, I just left on the white tank top. Added my knit blazer. This is old from Eloquy. And I feel like I wanted to play with color. I feel like this is giving Sherbert ice cream vibes. Which I think. And I just added my sneakers. So this is like how I will really wear this into the office. But I am a little bummed because, again, I really wanted to wear this as a dress with a t-shirt underneath of it. But we're going to make it do what it's do. So how do y'all feel about this look? okay and i could probably i tried it on with my cropped um pink moto jacket i tried it on with like some other colorful blazers in my wardrobe so i could dress this up with a blazer like a regular this is faux leather but like one of my regular blazers i could dress it up and then you just have to make sure <laughs> that you roll it good okay in case you don't want to wear a jacket with it so i feel like if you roll it good it sits the way my other satin slip skirts sit okay but i am bummed that this is not fit as a dress like let me show y'all matter of fact let me just show okay, y'all so this is what the dress looks like on fully as a dress okay <laughs> so like i said i can get in it but it's tight across here and what i wanted to do with it i can't do with it definitely would probably put like a shape of wreath under this just to have like some control in my stomach but so you guys can see it's tight across here like this should not be sitting up this high um like this should be down some more definitely would do a strapless bra with this if i was to like wear it out as a dress but just for video purposes like it fits good through the body it's just really tight across my chest and then across my back so I needed another size up, but the way that the measurements read for the double XL would have it read like it would have been too big. Um, but I should have went with my gut and got the double XL and not the extra large. The extra large is a 1618. The double XL is a 2022. And because I'm losing weight, I'm like, I know it's 2022 is gonna be too big, especially like if it ran more so on the 22 side but it seems like it runs more on the smaller side so i feel like this runs more like on the 16 but all through here okay this is too tight and then i can't lay it with it so she can get in it but i can't do what i wanted to do with it okay but i feel like it's not super tight in my stomach or anything like that it's just really this but if I wanted to, I could still pull this off as a dress with a blazer. I just can't layer with it. And then I also can finesse it to a skirt. So I guess you can say, <laughs> I guess you can say we have like a little two for one. I do have like a purple blazer that I've never worn. I'd be, it's still like a sags one. I just checked it. <laughs> I could wear my purple blazer with this from, um, Zara and take that into the office. I probably put that in the workwear lookbook, um, and do like a heel or whatever like that. I'm trying to think of the outfits as I'm doing this video for the workwear lookbook. So I may do that with that. You might see this again with the heel. Take that into the office. So how do you guys feel? I mean, I can, I can still do nothing, but and like I can move like I'm fine like with my arms. Like I don't feel restricted. It's just really, I can't layer with it, really. But how do y'all feel about the dress? I still think the dress is cute. They have it in a blue ombre. They do have like this bluish purple dress. There is a satin slip dress. It has like a crew neck collar. It reminds me of this dress that I missed out on from Zara like two summers ago. I'm thinking about going to go get that dress, but I'm just so scared because I don't really know my size. I'm like that at Walmart, okay? But let me get y'all one more spam okay now let me because i'm not gonna try this one this is the other 
shirt that I got just like the white one that we just took off in stripe. Look, I love a good white shirt, a striped one, and then a black one. I always um repurchase like knits like this because I live in these. It's like my basic, so it's not for me to refresh. So I'm not going to try that one because it's the same as the white one. But we got one more dress to try on from H&M. Let's get into it. Let me know how y'all feel about this ombre situation. Okay, guys, so this is the last dress. I'm going to give you two looks. This is how I will wear this very casually, easy breezy during the summer. This is a dress you also could probably take with you on vacation. And then I'm going to also show you how you can take this into the office, okay? So I got this dress from H&M. It's in the extra large. It's in the black and white print. Every string on this dress is functional so the two strings on the side helps you pull in the waist so you can cinch it as much as you want to and then you also can pull this in or leave this open to expose how much cleavage you want to expose and then the same thing on the wrist so i love that for me i don't have to wear a belt with this to get the cinch waist so again functional you can make it as tight or as loose as you want to cinch in the waist, okay? And then I just love the print. And then I love the little ruffle hem at the bottom. I just added my black sandals and some shades and then like a red clutch just for a pop of color. Now, again, I could wear this very casually. I could wear this into the office casually as well for my work environment. But like I said, this is a dress that you can just throw on to go do errands, grocery shopping, go shopping, go on vacation go to brunch <laughs> you can wear this wherever take it to work i love that this is very lightweight even though it's long sleeve this is a very lightweight material so how do you guys feel about this dress i did get this in an extra large because these type of dresses in h&m no not an extra large i got this in a large because these dresses in h&m runs really big and if you're plus size and petite you can get swallowed in these type of dresses for h&m because they run so big so i got this in a large the more you got some spins i love the flow the movement i love the balloon sleeve like i love a good puff sleeve okay so let's go ahead and elevate this a little bit so i can show you guys how you can take this into the office i always get pieces that functions for what i do so when you're trying to build your wardrobe even your workwear wardrobe i personally do not buy things that strictly just for work strictly for going out strictly for this my wardrobe is cohesive where i can take things that are considered workwear into every day or to street style you guys know i love street style as well so i buy things that make my wardrobe very functional so think about the things that you do in your day-to-day -day life when you're purchasing your pieces let's get ready to elevate this and take it to the office y'all ready okay guys so this is how i would take this into the office if i had to be like dressed up so i went ahead and added my statement belt just to cinch me in just a little bit more but to break up the print and just add like an elevated look to it by adding the leather belt to it with like this gold accent now i was debating about the shoes because i have white mules red yellow or dark green which all could go with this dress but it just wasn't doing nothing for me, okay? It wasn't doing anything for me. So, I decided to go with the zebra print shoes, okay? Because y'all know that I love to play with texture. I love to play with print, okay? And so, just to have, like, that edge that I like, if I was in a work environment where I had to be full business, like, this is how I would play around with my personal style, which is mixing textures in front okay <laughs> so i just went ahead and added the zebra print shoe just for a little bit of fun it doesn't take away from the dress so i like it style this way when i paired it with like my colorful mules it wasn't doing nothing for me so i feel like this dress could take edge okay because it's black and white the length the cut of the dress i feel like it could take like an edgy element okay so how do you guys feel about the dress paired with the zebra print shoes and it's adding the belt to it okay but if this is still scary for you then go with the classic red shoe or a black shoe or a white shoe i thought my white mules would actually make it pop but it didn't the red the yellow the green the white didn't pop for me when i added the zebra print shoe it just did something for me so which i think <laughs> 
Okay, so this is the end of the haul. Let me know what was your favorite piece. Let me know how you guys feel about the zebra print shoes. My favorite piece is the first dress that we did. Also, the geo print uh, blazer shirt. And then y'all know how I feel about the, the zebra print shoes. So, see y'all in the next video. So, the next time, love y'all.